speaking at the Purvotar Swabhiman Utsav in Guwahati on the topic Measures to Promote Greater Integration of Northeast Region with National Mainstream, Chief Minister Konrad Sangma stated that only if connectivity in all aspects, including culture, infrastructure, road and air connectivity is achieved, then the Northeast Region can have stronger integration with the rest of India. He also said that the history of the Northeast should find mention in the national educational curriculum to further promote national integration. He also mooted the idea that from a young age, children should be introduced to cultural exchange programs. Is that we need to have at large overall connectivity uh, that needs to be built up. And by connectivity, I mean road connectivity, I mean uh, cultural connectivity, airports, IT connectivity, economic connectivity. So connectivity is a very important word. And hence, uh, only if we are able to integrate the connectivity in terms of infrastructure, in terms of uh, communication, in terms of economics, in terms of cultural aspects, I think only then will we be able to see a very strong uh, uh, you know, integration taking place uh, between the Northeast and uh, the rest of India. It will be very important for us to see that there is a, a very strong cultural exchange uh, from a very young age. And this is very important because that's when the mindset of the younger generation and the future generation of the country uh, is built. This reminds me of uh, you know one trip I had made to Israel once. And I remember going to their uh, war memorial and uh, the Holocaust, in fact, not war, sorry, the Holocaust uh, memorial uh, museum was there. And uh, I saw young children going there. And the government of Israel uh, made it a point that the young children should be there every year. They should visit once. And the, the Holocaust Museum was so dramatic and so, uh, you know, uh, content was so powerful that even I, when I entered there, you know, I had, uh, I could feel myself getting emotional and seeing the kind of, uh, you know, what the people, the, the, the Jews went through. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is, this is how they ensure that that entire feeling of patriotism comes in to the people of uh, you know Israel, and that in fact remains there for the rest of their lives. It's not just uh, people from the rest of India should know the cultures of Northeast. The people from Northeast should know the cultures of rest of India also. So it has to be done in a very powerful way, uh, and I think uh, cultural exchange programs, the uh, museums, uh, you know, different shows. I think these are very powerful ways to be able to ensure that uh, cultural exchange takes place. And until, unless the political leadership doesn't take that uh, first step, things will not move in the right direction. Now let me give an example of what Honorable Prime Minister is doing. Now for example, all the ministers from the central government, they have to mandatorily make a visit to the Northeast very, very regularly. And a lot of people criticize this move. And they say that, why are we wasting government money? But you know, there is no compromise to seeing it for yourself with your own eyes and feeling it with your own hands. You know, I'm a very strong believer in getting your hands dirty.